All right, all right, all right, all right. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth, Jeff DeLoach, Bible Teaching with Jeff DeLoach. Jeff DeLoach. Here again today, <laughs> like every day, so much better during the week when all the bozos aren't around. I got to really enjoy my um, my midweek peace and quiet because in about two weeks, three weeks, when it get, starts getting hot and all the kids are out of school, um, my peace over here is going to be gone. It's going to be very hard to... I'm going to have to change my, my mode. I'm going to have to get busy. Get busy. Anyhow, welcome to the channel. Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters. Give them all peace and understanding through a contrite and humble spirit so that they can bow before you and humble themselves before you and know that you are God and that they are your children. They are your family. Let them rest in that assurance that with you, there is no nothing bad. You said it was good and it is good. Being with you is drawing near to you is what we need to do. So we, we draw near to you. We seek your indwelling spirit, the comforter to give us peace in these days. We love you. We honor you. We praise you over and over again. We thank you. We have a heart of thanksgiving and gratitude. That's our attitude is gratitude for everything you do, everything you've done, everything you will do. Amen. You're welcome. Hey, hey. Feeling so much better, people. Thank you for the prayers. Any of you that have prayed for me, Most High Son, thank you, brother, for sharing videos. Um, all the rest of you that are here, thanks for subscribing. I know that I have like eight of you or ten of you that are actually interested every day. I know you can't. Not all of you have the time to listen to me ramble about the Bible, but um, I, I do my best to bring some things to you that I don't know if you need to know it, but it's good to know. Um, part of it has to do with just being able to give the man of God some of your time. Just, just give me some of your time because what I've learned over the many centuries coming back and coming back and coming back, there was times of course, where it was hot, hot. Something hot, something insane happened, something miraculous, something astounding would take place, an event. But mostly it's been a slow, steady beam, walk, path, light. And a lot of it was just staying, staying with the word, staying, staying with the heart that I had. And um, I would say some of the hardest, most difficult times were when, and this is where your spirit builds up and you don't even know it. You're sitting here. You're going, God, is he ever going to say anything? Is he just going to talk, talk, talk? That's kind of what it is. Sometimes it's just sitting and getting through that anxiety, that, that feeling like, am I missing something? Is, that, is this enough? So... If there's one thing that I could say that would help shift your mind into a into a devoted, devout, 
apostle type person. You know, the the Jesus was out in the wilderness 40 days alone. He, whenever he whenever he needed to get power with God, he would sit alone with God. Um, Ezekiel sat by the river Chebar. Um, it's that aloneness. It's that feeling alone. If you can, if you can sit alone, he's going out. Good work, dude. As soon as I get well, I'm going to start surfing again. I'm afraid to get, I'm afraid to get in the water right now. I'm afraid I'm going to have a reaction. There's red tide going on out there. Red tide, for some of you that don't not know, it's a, um, it's a bloom. It's an algae bloom in the ocean. It's little krill, little shrimp. There must be some waves. I see a couple guys going out. Of course there is. <laughs> uh, oh well, I've surfed all my life. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fret over that. So we're in the Book of Esther. Esther. They're talking. We're ta talking about the Feast of Purim. It's a feast where they're celebrating their victory over. The Gentiles that try and fuck with us, try and kill us, try and exterminate us, try and end the line of Judah, Benjamin, and anyone else who's following along with Israel that believes in King David and King Solomon, Jesus Christ. So it says, um, because Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, the enemy of the Jews, all the Jews, had devised against the Jews to destroy them, and had cast Pur, that is, the lot, to consume them and to destroy them. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his son should be hanged on the gallows. This should give you a lot of hope and strength and faith that... When you follow Jesus Christ, when you follow the King David and, and Solomon, the Father, Heavenly Father and the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit, which lingers in the hearts of Benjamites, that no matter how dire it looks, because what happened in here, Esther had to risk her life to go to the king. She stood in the court. And if the king wasn't in a good mood that day and saw her standing there and said, what the fuck? What are you waiting for, bitch? I fucking don't feel like seeing you today. Um, she might have ended up dead. But the king actually heard her out and um, like it says when Esther came before the king he commanded by letters that Haman's wicked device which he devised against the Jews should turn upon his own head that he and his son should be hanged on the gallows wherefore they called these days Purim after the name of Pur Lot the Lot will turn in our favor The lot will turn in our favor. If you if you walk with Christ, no matter how close you are to, to the end, and that's what I was saying earlier in the video, is that even though there was some times where there was some astounding events coming down and I saw some miraculous deliverances, I've seen some miraculous deliverances in this life. I could talk. I could talk about that for an hour too. Um, some of the sh crazy stuff that the Lord did for me 
this guy has to park right next to me, right? Sure does. I don't like, I'm such a fucking agoraphobic anymore. I don't like people, I don't like people close to me. Parking their cars next to me. I don't like them walking too close to me. I don't like them walking too close to my car. I'm a fucking weirdo that way anymore. I get fucking anxious as fuck. You've seen me. Um, anyway, um, the Jews ordained and took upon them and upon their seed and upon all such as join themselves onto them. This is where Bob Marley is telling you, I hope you like jamming. I want to jam it with you, Benjamin. The book, see, what people, a lot of these Christians don't understand these churches. And I didn't understand it for a long time either. I was in the church. I served for Calvary Chapel, Huntington Beach. I'm a disciple of Chuck Smith, you know, the... The Jesus Revolution movie, Chuck Smith, Greg Laurie. That happened right here in Costa Mesa. So I came up under Calvary Chap, Calvary Christianity, um, born again, fucking rapture nonsense. But I could never, I never felt completely accepted by Christianity. Why? Because I'm not supposed to glom onto them. They're supposed to glom onto us. And that's why I don't like, I don't like rapture Christianity. I don't like Catholicism. I don't like the fact that they've pushed me aside. And God doesn't like that either. Some of these fuckers, man, they're going to have to learn the hard way. There's going to be a hard, hard hammer that falls on their head. And I love my Christian brothers and sisters. I'm just trying to explain to them. The Jews ordained and took upon them and upon their seed and upon all such as joined themselves onto them. So as it should not fail that they would never been known to fail. So it would not fail that they would keep these two days according to their writing and according to their appointed time every year. I was going to go into, okay, ordained, the Jews ordained. Let's look at that. Ordained is... Um, Established, they established and imposed on themselves. So why doesn't it mention God in here? Why doesn't it talk about Yahweh? Why is, why is God missing from the book? Because, don't, don't hate me. Don't hate me when I say this. Don't hate me. It's because we are God's... Re the Benjamites, the Jews, the Judas, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the kings and priests and servants, we are like Jesus. We're like Solomon. We're of the house of Solomon. We are God's representations as people on the flat plain. You can believe me or not. I'm, the book doesn't lie. I'm telling. The book don't lie, niggas. <sighs> Anyone can make it as long as they know who their daddy is. And stop talking nonsense. Rapture. Rapture's coming this month. Get ready. We're all going to get raptured. We're getting out of here. We're leaving these wicked niggers behind. No one's going anywhere. So I was thinking about joining themselves onto them. Man, there was some other stuff I wanted to bring out over here, but 
maybe, maybe since we're the Lord pointed this out, maybe that's what he's trying to explain to me. Join themselves onto them. Um, Zechariah, is it Zechariah? Uh, Esther, it even, it even references itself, its own book, 817. And in every province and in every city, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, the Jews had joy and gladness, a feast and a good day. And many of the people of the land became Jews, for the fear of the Jews fell upon them. I hope you like jamming. I hope you like jamming. I want to jam it with you. Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin. Am I scary? Am I trying to scare you into Am I trying to scare you into following me? You should be scared, but I'm not going to I'm not going to be that guy. You better you better get behind me, bitches. You better get behind me or you're going to get fucking destroyed. That's up to you to figure out. All I can do is drop the bait. Um, do you want? Should we go into that some more? For they feared the Jews. The fear of the Jews fell upon them. The Jews had light and gladness and joy and honor. And Mordecai went out from the presence of the king in royal apparel of blue and white and with a great crown of gold and with a garment of fine linen and purple. And the city of Shusha rejoiced and was glad. What happens when you follow me and my people? Good things happen. Good. It's good. What did I say in the last video? It's good. God said it's good. You follow us, it's good. 